hello students in this lesson we're going to study the lowest or least common multiple in short we call it lcm the first question that will always come to your mind is what is a multiple what is a multiple a multiple is a number you get when you multiply a certain number by another number so by the time you multiply two numbers together you're going to get a result that result is known as the multiple for example when we said two times three it's going to give us six so six is a multiple of two or six is a multiple of three can you see so let's define the multiple we say a multiple is a number you get when you multiply a certain number by another number So this is the definition a multiple is a number you get when you multiply a certain number by another number the easiest way to get a multiple of a number is just by adding that number to the previous result how for example when you have two you want to get the multiple of two the first number the first multiple of two is the two itself then two plus two is just be adding two to the result any answer you get you add 2 to it that will be the multiple of 2 so 2 plus 2 is 4 plus another 2 is 6 plus another 2 is 8 plus another 2 is 10 plus another 2 is 12 continuously so you keep on adding 2 2 right another one here is 5 or well, what are the multiples of 5 you say the first one will be what? 5 5 plus 5 is 10 10 plus 5 is 15, 15 plus 5 is 20, 20 plus 5 is 25, and so on and so forth. Let's try one again. Then find the multiples of 10. So the multiple of 10 will be, first one will be 10. 10 plus 10 is 20. Keep on adding 10. Plus 10 will be 30. Plus 10 will be 40. Plus 10 will be 50, and so on and so forth. Can you see? So, this is a multiple the easiest way to get a multiple is by adding that number to the current answer remember that the first multiple of any number is that number so if the multiple of 10 the first multiple of 10 is 10 then plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 and so on and so forth all right students another important thing to understand before we proceed is a common multiple what is then a common multiple a common multiple is a shared multiple of each set of numbers. We have seen that a multiple is a number you get when you multiply a certain number by another number. Then, if that number is a shared multiple between a set of numbers, then it is a common multiple. That is, if 2 has a multiple and there is a specific number in the multiple of 2 that is present in the multiple of 3, that means that number that is in common is actually a common multiple. For example, 2 and 3. Right? What are the multiples of 2 first? We check the multiple of 2. We are going to have 2 itself plus 2 is 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 2 is 8 plus 2 is 10 plus 2 is 12, 14, 16, 18 and so on. Right? We can get it to infinity. But we're going to stop here. Then, what of 3? Three? 3 is 3. Plus 3 is what? 6. Plus 3 is 9. Plus 3 is 12. Plus 3 is 15. Plus 3 is 18. Plus 3 is 21. And so on. We keep on adding. We keep on having more numbers. So, now, as we say that a common multiple is a shared multiple of each set of numbers. The next thing is to check what are those multiples of 2 that can be found in the multiple of 3. So, the first one we can see is 6. Can you see? 6 is common between 2 and 3. The next one is 12. Can you see? 12 is a common multiple. What again? We have 18 that in common. So now we can say that the common multiples 
Common multiples of 2 and 3 are 6, 12, and 18. If we continue adding the numbers, getting more multiples, it's high possibility of us getting more common multiples. Okay? So don't be confused. Not because I stopped in 18 here means uh, that's the end of the common multiples. As we keep on getting the multiples of those numbers, there's a high possibility of getting more common multiples. So let's see some example how we can find the multiples of numbers. But before then, among these common multiples, you know that we are looking for the lowest or least common multiple. Among these common multiples that we've gotten, which one is the least or is the lowest among them? Of course, is six. So the lowest common multiple here, the lowest common multiple or the least common multiple here is what six. Can you see? Very easy for us to find. So first get a multiple of the numbers, then check the common ones, then find the least among the common multiple. So let's see some examples. All right, let's solve more examples for better understanding. We have to find the common multiples and the lowest common multiples of four and 10. So as usual, the first thing to do is to find the multiples of the individual of individual numbers. So we start with four. What are the multiples of four? So we have four plus four is what? Eight. Then we have 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 40, 44, and so on. Right? If you want to get more multiple of 4, you can continue adding 4 to the last answer you get. Then let's find the multiples of 10. We have 10, 20, 30, 40. 50, 60, 70, 80, and so on. Let's stop here. So, what are then the common multiples of 4 and 10? So, let's check them out. We can see 20 in common, right? So, one of the common multiples said, in short, common multiple is 20. Next, what again? We have 40. 40 based on the multiples of 4 and 10 provided here the lowest the common multiples are 20 and 40 so we want to get more of the common multiples then you have to get more of the multiples of both the numbers so in this case now what is then the least among the common multiples the least among the number of course is 20 so the least or the lowest common multiple of 4 and 10 is what 20 because 20 is the lowest or the least among the common multiple so this is the lowest common multiple all right another example is to find the multiples the common multiples and the lowest common multiples of 4 and 6 so the first thing to do is find the multiples of 4 which are 4 8 plus 4 is 12 plus 4 is 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, and so on. Then that of 6 is what? What are the multiples of 6? We have 6, 12, 18, 24, 24, 30, 36, and 42, and so on. So let's stop here. So what are the common multiples of 4 and 6 so what they have in common i can see we have 12 right 12 is in common then what again we have 24 in common i see what again we have in common we have 36 in common for now what are the common multiples the common multiples are 12 24 and 36 and the lowest common multiple will be what what, are, what is the least common multiple among the common multiple the least one is is what 12 right so the least common multiple in this case is 12 but there's a better way of solving this what if you have a lot of numbers and you are asked to find the lowest common multiple that means you're going to spend the whole day looking for the multiples writing 
all the multiples no, of those numbers before getting the common multiples and then getting the lowest common multiples is so much work and waste of waste of time and energy so there's a better way of doing it and that is using prime factors prime factor. what is then a prime factor a prime factor or a prime number to say a prime number is a number that is divisible by one and itself or factors are numbers that are divisible by one and themselves so a prime number is a number that is divisible by one and itself then what of a prime factor a prime factor these are factors that are divisible by one and themselves these are prime factors so, so a prime factor is a factor that is divisible by one and itself a very good example of a prime number is two it, two can only be divisible by one and two there's no any number that can divide two another example is three there's no number that can divide three except three and one without remainder right then we have five there's no number that can divide five except one and five without remainder there's no number that can divide five without remainder except one and five so these prime factors are actually the factors of numbers that are divisible by one and themselves so we're going to use these prime factors to find the lowest common multiple of pair of numbers so let's give it a try all right now using prime factors let's see how we can find the lowest common multiple of some numbers the first one is 4 and 10 so how we're going to do is just to write 4 draw a line write 10 draw a line so our prime factors will go into this column okay so anything here will be the prime factors so let's write down the prime factors aside and see we have two three followed by five seven eleven thirteen and so these are numbers these are numbers that are divisible by one and themselves so how are you going to do we're going to check two first we're going to first check two if there's any number among these that is divisible by two without any remainder then you will use two on no occasion you are going to jump from any lower prime factor that is divisible by any of your number without using it you have to use it right so among this let's start two count is there any number that is divisible by two without remainder among these ones of course yes Two can go into four and ten, so I write two here. So four divided by these two is all. Four divided by two is two, and ten divided by two is five. So write five under ten. Remember, it's under the that number, right? So is there any number? Can two go into? Can these two go into any of these numbers? Of course, yes. Two can go into two. So you write the two. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. And 5 divided by 2 is not possible. It can divide actually both with remainder. We are looking for numbers that are divisible without any remainder. So whenever any number can divide with a remainder, or we just say whenever there is no any number, or that number is not divisible without any remainder, you write the number back so since 5 is not divisible by these two then we're going to write the 5 down and see so whenever a number is not divisible by a prime factor you write the number down so what can go can 2 go into any of this one no of course no can 3 go into 5 this 5 no so check the next one can, can 5 go into any of these? Of course, 5 can go into 5. So, we can say 
five of course one this one once it is one you keep on writing one down so five divided by this five is what is one because one divided five divided by five is one so whenever you get all the numbers at the bottom one then that means you're done so we can now get our lowest common multiple will be we multiply these ones can you see when you multiply them which is two by two by five so two two times two is four four times two is twenty so the lcm is equals to twenty it's very easy that's our first example all right the second question is to find the lowest common multiple using prime factor of 15 35 and 45 so in this case even if you have 100 of them we we'll solve them at the same time so we have 15 and we have 35 we have 45 so let's down our, write down our prime numbers we have 2 3 5 7 11 and so on and, and so on and so forth is there a number that two can divide among these ones of course two cannot divide 15 two cannot divide 35 and two cannot divide 45 remember that any number that ends with zero two four six eight two can divide so uh, unfortunately there is no any number that ends with zero two four six eight here so two cannot go we skip that one go to the next number which is three can three divide any of these? Of course, yes, this three can divide 15. Three can divide 15, right? So let's see. So let's use three. 15 divided by three is five. 35 divided by three cannot go. Since 35 can, cannot divide three without remainder, we write the 35 down. 45 divided by, 45 divided by three, of course, is what? 15, right? So write 15. So, is there a number that can that three can still divide? Yes, we still have fifteen. Here. So three, five cannot divide three. We write the five down. Thirty-five cannot divide three. We write the five. Fifteen now divide three is five. Right. Is there a number that three can divide again? No. So we, we go to five. What can go into five? We have five here. Thirty-five divided by five is one. Then thirty-five divided by five is what seven right that five uh, five divide five five divide five is one so right one so is there a number that five can divide among this of course no so we we'll move to the next one which is seven and seven divide of course seven can divide seven so we use seven so one here we told you that once it is one keep on writing one seven divide by Seven is one, one. So since they are now one, all one, then we are free to multiply the prime factors, which are say L C M is equal to three times three times five times seven, right? And three times three times five times seven is equal to three hundred and fifteen. So this is the lowest common multiple of 15, 35, and 45. All right, the third question is using prime factors, we should find the lowest common multiple of 18, 36, and 72. So as usual, 36 and 72. So let's check. Of course, two will go because of 18, 36, and 72 ends with even numbers. It ends with two, four, six, eight, and zero. So we'll, we'll two will go two into eighteen. That is eighteen divided by two is nine. Then thirty-six. You have this something like this. Divide by two. If we, if we don't have a calculator, how do you divide it? We said three divided by two will go one remainder one. Now you are left with what sixteen, right? So sixteen divided by two is eight. So it is now 18. See it? So then we have 72 divide 2. And 7 divided by 2. 7 divided by 2 is 3 remainder 1. 
so giving you what 12 right so 12 divided by 2 is 6 so we're going to have 36 so whenever you don't have calculator is the easiest way to divide it since you already know that 2 can go can 2 go into n of this of course yes we have 18 and 36 so let's use it 18 and 36 that means we're going to use 2 2 9 divided by 2 is not divided by 2 can it yes it can divide but it will be remainder so i are not going to use it so 18 divided by 2 is 9 and 36 divided by 2 is 18 right can 2 still go into any of these yes 2 can go into 18 so we are going to use 2 again 9 divided by 2 is not 9 and 18 divided by 2 is 9 are we there so can 2 divide in, into any of these no so we cannot so we'll go move to 3 so 3 here is 3 9 divided by 3 is 3 3 and 3 and 3 can go into all of them so 3 here is 1 1 and 1 so that is the solution since they are now 1 what is the LCM the LCM we go to 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 and if multiply 2 times 2 is 4 4 times 2 is 8 8 times 3 is 24 and 24 times 3 is 72 so this goes to 72 all right this is the fourth question we have to find the lowest common multiple or the least common multiple of 24 40 and 60 by prime factors so as usual we write draw a line we have 24 40 and 60 so is there a number that two can go of course yes two can go into all of them because this ends with four this one ends with zero and this ends with zero so we say two 24 divided by two of course is 12 and 40 divided by two four here is two and bring up your zero so we have 20. 60 divided by two 60 divided by two you know that six divided by two is three is three bring that bring up your zero 30 right of course two can still go right 12 divided by 2 is 6 20 divided by 2 is 10 and 30 divided by 2 is 15 can 2 still go yes so you keep on using until you get a number get all the set of numbers that 2 will know but then you move to the next one 2 6 divided by 2 is 3 10 divided by 2 is 5 and 15 divided by 2 is not, without remember, it's not possible. So you write down your 15 pack. So we can see that there's no number that 2 can go. So we move to the next number, which is 3. So, so 3, 3 divided by 3 is 1. 5 divided by 3 is not possible. You write it down. Right? Then 15 divided by 3 is 5. So can 3 go into any of these? Of course, no. So go to the next one can 5 divide of course yes 5a we know is 1 5 divided by 5 is 1 1 and 1 2 so our lowest common multiple will be 2 by 2 by 2 by 3 and by 5 and we multiply 2 times 2 4 4 times 2 8 8 times 3 24 and 24 times 5 is 120 so this is our lcm 120 right all right this is the final question we have in this lesson find the least common multiple of 24 and 40 using prime factors so as usual 24 draw a line 40 and draw a line of course 2 can go to so write 2 24 divided 2 is 12 40 divided 2 is 20 2 can still go 12 divided 2 is 6 20 divided 2 is 10 2 can go because 6 divided 2 is 3 and 10 divided 2 is 5 can 2 go no 2 cannot go into any of this then you try 3 3 divided 3 is 1 and 5 divided 3 is not possible you write 5 down next one is 5 because then 5 divided by 1 we have 1 here 5 divided by 5 is actually 1 so our lowest common 
multiple will be 2 by 2 by 2 by 3 by 5. So 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 3, 24, and 24 times 5 is 120. So this is our lowest common multiple. Alright, before going, I have an assignment for you here. Try and solve this. Find the lowest or the least common multiple of the following using prime factors. The first one is 48, 72, and 108. Number two is 12, 27, and 46. Then the last one is 16, 20, and 24. Try it. If you are confused, you can check back the videos. Try it again. Keep on trying. Keep on practicing. Remember that practice make perfect. So with this, I have come to the end of the lesson. See you in the next lesson. Thanks for watching.